Yes. Hello. Hi, come on Hi. in. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. May I take your coat? Sure. Oh, wait, let me get my brain out of there. I never go anywhere without this. That way, when I get a bright idea, wham, right into the tape recorder. Oh, sounds like quite a handy gizmo. Thank you, Orville. It's Orson. Orville, Orson. Either way, he came home from the playground covered in bruises. Am I right? <laughs> idea for children's book. Kid who gets the crap kicked out of him because he has a goofy name. Could be Orson. That's them. Wait till you meet Tom. You'll be so glad you had that tape recorder. He's just bursting with ideas. Hi, hey, Tom. Hi. Hey. I'd like you to meet my publisher, Bruce. It's nice to meet you. Hey. Bree, I'm getting beer if you don't mind. Oh. Fantastic dinner, Bree. This was a great idea. Well, I just wanted to get you together with Tom here. I thought you two might hit it off. Yeah, Tom. Bree says you used to be quite the ad whiz. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's being modest. He was the best. Good, because I'm looking for someone to head up a new division. I'm going to put some coffee on, Orson. Would you give me a hand? Let these three chat. So, do you think you have any interest in getting back in the game? I don't know. Timing's a little weird. <laughs> How so? I don't know. Well, Tom was just running a very successful restaurant and he just sold it at a handsome profit. So, he's waiting for the right opportunity. You might have to do a little selling here, Bruce. Huh. I guess the good ones are always the hardest to land. Yeah. Let me give it a shot. We represent a small stable of elite nonfiction authors from all over the world. So you'd be working closely with those writers to come up with creative approaches to selling their books. That sounds amazing. I don't know. <laughs> Are there more potatoes? You can have mine. <laughs> Stop saying I don't know. Sounds like there's a, a lot of travel, and I'm not you know, really big on living out of a suitcase. Even to do two weeks at the book fair in Paris while you stay at a five-star hotel? Paris? <laughs> like France? Yes, like the greatest city in the world. <laughs> Gee, I'm getting Lynette excited. Too bad you don't have any advertising experience. Well... Actually, I have 12 years of experience. Really? Yeah. I was account executive for eight years, VP for four more after that. And by the way, I wrote my graduate thesis on the rise of the nonfiction novel. Wow. I know. So what kind of starting salary are you talking about? <laughs> Lynette, can I see you for a sec? Okay. Bruce, could you hold that thought? I'm going to be right back. <laughs> 